Okay, she's all put away for the night. Cleaned up, cruised around a little bit. I think what we'll do now is uh, a little bit of uh, what's required to do yet video. I've got a list. As you can see, it's getting quite long. So, notice I'm watching my video of uh, the first drive. The right brake light is out. Fix that. Easy. Fix turn signals. Having some issues with those. The fronts kind of can't want this couple of bulbs aren't in. One's burnt out. Uh, and the headlights. So we can do this here. Headlights are not secured properly. Both sides is even worse. So I need to get those fixed. Also need to get the trim to go back on this side. Once I get the fender on, a couple of holes have been stripped out. Uh, let's see here. Bleed the brakes, flush the brake system out. Been sitting for a couple of years, not a bad idea to do that. All right, oil change and filter. Yeah, let's put that on there so we know. So oil and filter, change the transmission fluid. Change the transfer case fluid. Change the fluid in both the axles. Uh, let's see, put the left front fender back on. What I'm missing right now is these little retainers, there's a nut on the bottom that's busted off. So uh, I have to hit a junkyard pick up five or six of those. Uh, let's see, put the interior back together. The center console is out. Not a big deal. Had to come out anyway. You can see around the shift linkage and the wheel drive lever and all that. That is sitting in the back. Probably won't be able to get the door open because I'm yeah, it's a little close. So everything's there. Let's do this. Hey, there it is. There's the boot. There's the whole kit and caboodle. The uh, armrest cover is missing. Looks like it busted off. Maybe we'll see about building one to throw on there. Other than that, the interior is complete. Oh, something else I just noticed. Mice have chewed on the uh, center seat belt. Let's put that on the list too for a here at Rental Bay. Alright, prepare to be impressed. My pen's going to light up. Uh, let's put that down here. Mm. All right, where do we leave off? So, put the interior back together, right side mirror. That's more of a want, but there's the left side. This one never came with a right side mirror. It's got a little plate on it. Shouldn't be too hard to find one from a junkyard and pop one on. Oh, back on the uh, headlights. The grill is also loose. A nice receipt sitting in there. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. So, a uh, left window crank. Let me show you this. There's the right side. Standard looking window crank. Here's my left side. It's got a bolt running through it. I catch my knee on that every time I get out, so I'm just going to replace it. Shouldn't be too expensive. Maybe we'll hit the junkyard. Probably try to clean up this door panel a little bit too. I'd like to uh, steam clean the, car, the uh, carpets and the upholstery as well. Just going to be four wheeled, so no big rush on that. Uh, oil sending unit. I made comment about the oil light is on when I drive it. Intermittently goes out at idle. So hopefully it's just a sending unit. It's got oil in it. Check the fluid when I parked it again. It's not leaking anything. Other than the rear main leaks a little bit. Nothing major. The muffler is on its way. Hopefully be here Tuesday. But a Flowmaster online. $45 I think it was. Brand new. 
uh, fix the transfer case linkage. The linkage is all apart. Yeah. It's all lined up, just no nuts holding it all together. Adjust the parking brake. You saw in my earlier video when I pulled it into the driveway. Let my foot off the brake with the parking brake on. It still wants to roll. Should be an easy fix. I uh, have not put the front drive line in yet. It is sitting right over here behind the spare tire. Right back there. I've got to uh, put the needle bearing cap on on that side. Should probably just do U joints all the way around, but we'll just put it back together for now and yeah, see if it works. Just want to get this thing on the road. There's the uh, bearing and outlet in there soaking. This little late winter, early spring shower coming through. Uh, let's see, seatbelt replacement and then uh, wiper blades. That's just more of a safety issue than anything. But these are shot, been sitting around for two years. So, all in all, that's what's left. Shouldn't cost too much. Fluids be the most expensive out of everything. But we're going to leave that right on the dashboard. Also, need to. Uh, you know what, let's put that on the list too. I need to mount the front license plate. There it is there. License. I think what I'm gonna do for that, the plastic retainer is busted. I tossed it. No point in keeping it. This is a piece of plastic, so we'll just mount it. Drill some holes in the top, bottom of the bumper here. Just mount it up like that. Don't want to hang it down too low. We'll put it up a little bit. Kind of wish it would fit off to the side here, but it hangs out a little bit. And it catch stuff. Maybe that'll come off. Of course, when I do a new bumper. So in the meantime, I'll just set it up here. I'm not going to be driving it anytime soon until this list is done. So, there you have it. It's a pretty successful day. Cleaned it up, took it for a couple of spins. Need a few things.